Well, my goal is to be zero waste, which means 100% of everything I use doesn't go into the landfill, which means I can recycle it, I can compost it, give it away to Goodwill. I mean, there's a ton of things I can do, but the goal is to make sure that nothing goes into the landfill. The first thing I would say to do is make sure you get rid of all the trash cans. I mean, you have them in like your office, your bathroom, your kitchen, you have them everywhere and you don't even think about it. And at first you're like, ooh, I want to be as convenient as possible with trash cans in every room. I'm the opposite now. I want to have it as inconvenient as possible. So like I'm forced to think about each individual piece of trash. Go to the website of your local trash company and they will tell you what you can recycle. And that gives you kind of like a, a guide for what to buy and what not to buy. The next time you're at the store, you'll say, this is recyclable, that is not, and that's an easy decision to make. When it comes to trash, the best actor in the entire thing is the trash companies. They are the ones that are the cleanest, most environmentally responsible, and they're doing this because they think it's the right thing to do, and because they're the ones like sitting in the trash, so they know what it's all about. Now the worst actors are us. They can't come to us and say like, put these 10 things in a recycle bin, because people won't do it. They will say it's too hard, it's too confusing, oh I forget. The, the trash companies actually have sites set up for this, it's like a full conveyor belt, and at the top they actually have people paid in like full spacesuits, you know, with like gloves and masks and stuff, and they're there sorting it for us. And that's one of the hidden secrets is that like, we are so bad at diverting our trash or like you know, separating it, that we pay our tax money to have somebody else do it at probably minimum wage to do it for us. The vast majority of the like eight pounds of trash that each American throws away per day comes from food. And it's not necessarily like food itself, it's the food packaging, it's the processed food, it's the napkins, it's the bags, it's all the stuff that comes when you'll buy what I call unhealthy food. Um, when you buy healthy food, it's apple, pears, you know, fruits and vegetables, and there's not a lot of waste with that. So it, it's one of these things where the healthier you're eating, the less waste you're producing. The second area is the bathroom. And this is the hardest one to do because we're all kind of like very particular about how we want to stay clean and how we want to you know, take care of our bodies. But I've found that if you do it piece by piece, one item at a time, you can find an item that does everything you need and is still recyclable. Shampoo and conditioner have been one of the hardest ones for me because there really is no way to not have a bottle. And the key is to check on the bottom of the bottle to see what the number is and make sure that that number is something you can recycle. I buy all my food at the farmer's market. Uh, I go once a week and buy everything I need. Uh, you'd be surprised how much you could get there. And so what I do is during those busy months of August and September when everything at the market is like a dollar or less, I'll buy a bunch of it um, and then you can come home and jar or can, you know, 10 pounds of tomatoes, stick them in the freezer or can them and they can, they can last on a shelf. Um, like, you know, you go to the farmer's market in February and nobody's growing anything and there's like two fruits available and that's when you pull out your tomatoes and your frozen watermelon and, you know, eat like a king. Clothes is pretty easy because I just buy recycled clothes. I mean, there's, there's awesome stores now like Buffalo Exchange where you can go and buy like designer clothes for, I mean, if I spend more than $7 on a t-shirt now, I get pretty upset. It's not that I stop buying new things. I still buy a significant amount of things. It's just I'm choosing to buy things that are either higher quality or of, of like recyclable values. The idea of cheap goods doesn't really make our lives better per se. Like it's it's more just a factor of you know buying less but buying the right things. 